what's up what's good youtube how y'all doing i'm doing all right and welcome back to another motherfucking video So y'all know what time it is, man. We're about to get up in this video, you know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, comment down below. Y'all already know what it is by the title of the video, 10 Things Studs Love That Films Do. Hold up, y'all. I gotta get some. All right, y'all, so we in that thing, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all smash that like button, and we about to get into that bit. All right, let's go. What's good, YouTube? It's your kitty, and I'm back with another video. I know my head look mad crazy right now, bro, but don't mind it. I just put that motherfucker down so I can put this video for y'all. But before we happen to this video, you gotta drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. Social media is gonna be down below. Make sure you guys follow me on my TikTok and Instagram, like I keep telling y'all. Follow me on my TikTok. Oh, yeah, and by the way, y'all, uh, this is uh, NYC Kizzy. I'm gonna subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Show some love. All that one good jazz. Let's get back into the video. I'm really trying to go on these two pages right now, bro. So I need to so, you know, help a kid out and feel me. But anyways, yeah, like I said, this, 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 this go on my head. Like, don't mind it, bro. Wait, did I even say what I'm going to do in the video? But I don't know if I said it or not. But in this YouTube video, I'm going to be doing um 10 things that studs love that femmes do. 10 things studs love that femmes do. Femmes do, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like not a lot. Like I said, it's ten things. So we just better like True. we better tell y'all this. Like some of the stuff I'm about to talk about, like some stuff, you know what I'm saying? We fuck with that, you know what I'm saying? And it's like way more than just ten things. But like right. I just had to jot it down to like ten things. I mean, yeah, most right. studs do. I'm not gonna sit here and say all studs, most studs. I'm saying like, well, some of some of the most studs do. Right. Not all studs, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um. You might have to do it. First one we got Here. is a femme that knows how to dress. Who wouldn't want to mess with somebody that knows how to dress? Like, like who would want to not mess with somebody that knows how to dress? Like, that's my question. Like, what, bro? like, and when I say I know how to dress, is like knowing how to dress. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but you just know how to dress. Like, y'all know how like now nah, like, there's some girls that be dressing like streetwear type shit. I think that's how you call it. Mm -hmm. Baggy clothes. How how you want to call it? I'll put like what I'm talking about on the screen. On the screen, but y'all know like how when females dress like that. I'm not even gonna lie, I find that mad attractive. Like females that dress like this, they can put it off, and that looks good over them. Like that's the, like they bite that shit when they do it, bro. Right. I fuck with that habit, no lie. Like, and when they can pull it off, like dressing like this, yeah. But like, like I said, studs love female that can dress like you know. What I'm saying? Who wouldn't want to love a person that knows how to dress? Especially like if you a person that if you a stud. And you know how to dress yourself, like you would want to mess with a friend that knows how to dress too, so that she can match her. She can match her fly, you know what I'm saying? Right. Also, yeah, I forgot to say I did do a video like this before, but I was like a year or two ago. I don't remember, but I did a video like this before. And I just decided like to redo it over just to let you guys know. Cause y'all probably like, did she do it? Yeah, I did. But I decided to redo it over cause like, why not? Alright, so next right. thing is a female <clears throat> with a nice smile. Honestly, like before, I didn't really care too much, but now that I like, I mess with a female with like, my smile, that shit, I kind of find that shit attractive as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Like, so like having a nice smile, bro. Good <laughs> but like, anyways, having a nice smile is like a bonus. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Cause like when you smile, when you laugh and shit, bro, like that shit gonna look so pretty, like, bro. Like, this shit right. just looks so nice, especially like if you have like nice teeth like perfect teeth like i'm not saying to have like some straight ass teeth like nah i'm just saying like some right. perfect teeth you know what i'm saying and then again i'm not saying to have no fucked up ass teeth though you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> bro just have a nice smile like, right 
to get too much of that tea chip, but just have a nice smile. Period. Like, mm -hmm. uh, number three, bro, is having good hygiene. I feel like I like that shit should have been on top because me, bro, when it comes to hygiene, I do not care about that shit. Like, right. I will not mess with you if you smell bad. Like, I cannot <laughs> stress this enough. Especially as a female, bro, I feel like as a female, your hygiene should be a number one priority. Like, I think yeah. I said this before my own interview, but it should be. I feel like, bro, like your hygiene should be a number one priority. Cause like, come on, bro, like, you can't be a female and smile like that, bro. That's, right. that's not good. That shit not good at all. Like that's that's bad drip. Like imagine your girl coming up to you, bro, she smells bad. Having a good hygiene, like your pH balance is how it's supposed to be. Like your armpit don't smell like fucking dead fucking birds and shit like oh. you know what I'm saying like you don't smell bad like bro that's a plus having a good hygiene bro like being able to maintain that shit bro like that's, yeah. that's a plus honestly like no lie next one is a female having mm -hmm. a nurturing vibe and I'm not saying like to be my mom like to be your mom like my mom's type right. shit cause that would have been a fucking hell but be like weird. he like mm -hmm. have like a mothering mothering vibe type shit like how do I do like, be on some like you know how moms be like, moms be caring for the, you know what I'm saying, the kids. Be like that, but don't do it like I'm a child or like I'm a You know right. what I'm saying? Like, bro, y'all get what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm not sure if you know, but that's, if you get what I'm saying, then you know, yeah. you know. Next one, y'all, is a female that could cook and clean eyes. So, I'm not saying to be out here, like, I'm not saying you always got to be the one to cook or cook. Well, cooking part, probably, most of the time, probably. Yeah. Right. But, like, a female knows how to cook and clean. Like, me bro, I could cook, but I could cook, I could cook certain things like seafood though. I could cook seafood, like shrimp, crab, king crab, um, snow crab legs, or whatever the fuck. Seafood, I could cook that shit. Right. Like, stuff better than that, I don't know how to make that like, I could cook stuff that I know that I like. Like I could make my, I could make breakfast, you know what I'm saying? I feel like in a relationship, it should be 50 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could cook today, I could cook tomorrow, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But then again, you're going to have to know how to cook more than me because, like I said, I don't even know how to cook, like, the seafood, you know what that, and other stuff that I know that I like, you know what I'm saying? Because you might not like the stuff right. that I like, so I can't really cook it for us, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's why I say, like, I always, like, I always be fuck with females that cook, like, honestly, all the females I mess with, they know how to cook, you know what I'm saying? All of them. All of them, they really like doing it. Well, most of them know what I do, but they still knew how to do it, you know what I'm saying? And also, cleaning, like, bro, like, I mean, I'll clean, but, like, then again, you can't do some lazy cake shit type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, clean, you can't just be in a clean, a clean store like that, looking dirty, like, come on now, bro. That shit not the wrong. Like, I'm not saying to be on some housemaid type shit, but, like, clean up. Some. This one is a female with a nice personality. Alright, so a female who has like a fine size personality, like a 10 out of 10 personality, bro, that's fire, like, <coughs> not for y'all, <coughs> but like a female that has a nice size personality, bro, like, that's fire, like, you know, bro, like, this shit nice, like, you don't have no stink ass attitude, right. no personality, no stink ass personality, attitude, or anything, like, you just have a nice ass personality, like, everybody can get along with you. I have to fuck head the shit type shit, you know what I'm saying? Next one, bro, I'm really happy with this one. Like, I, I got a fuck with a female that I could touch, bro. Like, she get her own money. You know what I'm saying? Like, she makes her own money. Like, she, like, independent. Like, she ain't got to depend on people, you know what I'm saying? Like, she makes her own back. Like, two of the females I fuck with, they made their money. They were they one of the people like, in the generation, but one of them, she, like, still working for the money. I like feeling like they're their own bread. Mm -hmm. I know I keep bringing up old feeling like so much of that. I'm just using it to do like more things. But anyway, you made that touch bread, but like that's a lot. You make your own money like you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. My shit, if you my girl, bro, I got you. Like, if you wanna get your hair, your nails, bro, like what the fuck is it, bro? I got you. Like, but then again, like you still gotta be you still have right. to touch your own bread, because it's still going to be shit that, that you're going to buy for yourself that I'm not going to need to buy for you. Know, right. But yeah, like I said, a female that touch bread is a plus. Is a, ten is a plus. Like, yeah, her. Who doesn't mm -hmm. have a fuck with a girl that makes money? That, that's crazy. The next one is an affectionate ass, you know. Like me, bro, like, I, like, once I really get close to you type shit, like, I really, like, 
really start getting closer. I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna tap more for guys to touch on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta, I be touching on them, like, hugging you out of nowhere, like, laying on you, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. just touching on you, just like your arm or something, you know what I'm saying? So, I gotta mess with a female that's affectionate also, because, like, you can't right. be like, oh, nah, don't touch me, don't touch me. Hey, what, girl? What you mean, don't touch you? Like, I understand there's some people out there who doesn't like physical touch, but right. that shit is to an extent. Like, come on, guys, let's get it together. So, an affectionate ass female. It's a 10 in my book. Next one is a funny yeah. female slash goofy female, bro. I I love females that are funny, bro. If you cannot make me laugh, like, damn near pissing on myself, we, I cannot talk to you. <laughs> that funny, bro. Right. Like, I don't, like, after you, you really got to be funny, bro. If I don't laugh on you, you at all, then that's just bad. If you together and I don't, bro, no. Like, you got to be funny, bro. You just got to be like, you gotta be goofy, funny, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be on your dry, silly as shit, like, all the time. Yeah, my mom would just say, yeah, I what I just did. That's <laughs> the last one, y'all, is a female that spoils her stud girlfriend. Yeah. Please do not come on my shit to myself. Oh, you a stud, you know, you shouldn't be. First of all, who the what? fuck? What, bro? I feel what? like y'all really be forgetting, like, studs at the end, they're stuck with And we still remember you do. We Stop still remember you with me. The type of shit y'all fellas love, you know what I'm saying? Like, not all the shit y'all fellas love, but most of the shit we still love with you. So, like, honestly, who wouldn't want to get spoiled? Like, even if you a nigga or whatever the fuck you is, who, why would you not want to get spoiled? Like, that's like, what, bro? Me, personally, I don't like people buying stuff for me. If you're not my mom, I don't like people spending money on me and shit like that. But, like, if you want to, like, you one day surprise me type shit, like, you spoil me with stuff, like, okay, cool. I'm not saying do that shit, like, every fucking day, but, like, once right. in a while, cool, you know what I'm saying? So, who wouldn't want to be spoiled with, like, you know what I'm saying? That shit is nice, like, you know what I'm saying? Especially when they spoil you with stuff that that you love, that they, like, you was talking about it, and then they got it for you. That's fine, you know what I'm saying? Like, me, bro, 100%, like, I spoil my girl, like, if I mess with you, me bro, too. it's yeah. a wrap, like. I'm gonna buy you shit. Even if you don't want me to, I'm gonna buy it for you. Bro. That's who I am. Like, I just, I just love spoiling. Not even people like you. I mess with you. So yeah. Are you guys? So that is the end of this video. Lately, I've been posting like ten plus minute videos on YouTube, and I'm really proud of myself. But usually, like my videos should be like exactly ten minutes or less than that. But now, like it's literally been like ten plus, and I'm proud of myself. And it's just gonna get longer and longer. The more we get into the future of me YouTube. Anyways, y'all, that's like I said, that's the end of the video. If you guys are watching that, drop a like and just subscribe. Like I said, this is like a pretty much a remix. Yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to her channel, you know what I'm saying? Definitely definitely something. You know what I'm saying? But um until next time y'all I'll holler. Peace.